during a recent appearance on Sirius XM's Trunk Nation with Eddie Trunk. Megadeth's Dave Mustaine reflected on the decision to fire bassist David Ellefson last year, following a sex video scandal, and bring in testament Steve DiGiorgio to re-record Ellefson's bass tracks. On the band's upcoming album, The Sick, The Dying, and The Dead, I don't really like talking about him anymore, Mustaine said about Ellefson. I like telling the funny story, but I really don't like talking about that part of things, because the guy that I know and love was a different person. Making the change to Steve, we needed to do that. We needed to do that for so many reasons. On the outside looking in, there were a few people that were saying that I did the wrong thing. But I'm sorry, for my personal convictions, I just couldn't have that around us. And even if it wasn't true, I didn't want that in my life. When Steve came in, he was a wonderful breath of fresh air because he could play the parts. And the parts that were on the record that were there. I did an interview recently and this girl says, Why did you change Dave's parts? And I thought, you can't be that stupid. I have to change the parts. I didn't say that to her, but I was thinking that. First off, the majority of the bass on the record I played, Mustaine explained. And it's demo tracks, we didn't have all the record recorded yet. When I was in my studio with Chris Rakestraw, and I'm writing the guitar parts, I picked up the bass and plunked along with it. I mean, it wasn't terrific, but it was the parts. So when anybody came in to record the parts, whether it was Steve or Dave, the parts were already written and recorded. The part about DiGiorgio coming in, it was cool because there was just so much bad stuff going on at the time. Mustaine added. It just seemed like the record was gonna keep getting delayed and delayed and delayed. But I believe there's a spiritual vacuum in my life. And that whenever things get really bad, there's a breakthrough ready to happen. And I know that when things get bad like that, it's kind of a challenge for the universe to see if I'm gonna stop living my life on the right side of things. If I'm gonna start trying to force things to happen again. And that's not who I am anymore. I think right now we're sitting on some of the best years ahead of us ever. I feel great. I think I'm playing really well. My relationships with most of the people in my life are really doing good. And I think that the band's trajectory has just continued to go upward. Ellefson laid down his bass tracks on Megadeth's 16th LP in May 2020 at a studio in Nashville, Tennessee. Ellefson was in Megadeth from the band's inception in 1983 to 2002, and again from 2010 until his latest exit. The Sick, The Dying, and The Dead will arrive on September 2nd via UME. Leave us a comment and please don't forget to hit the like button it's appreciated.